I started working when I was 15 years old. And for the majority of my teenage years, I assumed that the older people that I worked with um, found it annoying to work with someone so inexperienced and young. And my assumption wasn't entirely incorrect. Some did find it annoying to train me or to correct me when I made a mistake. And if I did make a mistake, they would just blame it on my age. It wasn't until recently that I felt that my um, opinions were being valued or that my contributions were appreciated by the older generations. And the first moment I experienced this was when my boss started coming to me for advice and giving me more of a leadership role, especially when dealing with important projects. And that's when I quickly realized that it wasn't a generational issue at all. It wasn't about my age. It was that I needed to prove myself, in other words. I needed to show that I was a valuable member of the team, that I had good work ethic, that I was responsible. And when I did prove those things, then she was more comfortable um, putting me in a leadership position. I was interested in seeing if there were significant differences amongst the generations that would affect the workplace environment. Greg Pryor, the senior vice president of Workday, said that their research on generational differences show that across all five generations coexisting, they found more similarities rather than differences. And I think that is very interesting because seeing how baby boomers work and how Generation Z works is very drastic. There is a difference there. And that's what we're gonna explore um, with this study. He does say that there are differences we need to know and be aware of. For example, Generation Z, they like to be seen as a person rather than just an employee. It is important for them to individually express themselves. And um, as opposed to a baby boomer, they grew up with the mentality of work is work. You're there to work as hard as you can and succeed. Mr. Pryor also points out how the workplace has shifted since millennials are now emerging into leadership roles and Generation Z is, are starting their careers. Since millennials have more of a say on how things are run in a company, they are changing the culture within and they are creating opportunities for everyone to grow and develop their own skills. And this shift in leadership has been beneficial according to him when trying to make the five generations cooperate with each other. He also concludes that as long as employees are seen and treated as more of just a part of the corporate machine um, and they're not treated as stereotypes, it will help blend the generations in a more efficient way. I also looked into another study Frontiers in Psychology published an article about generational diversity in the workplace, and the authors focused on the psychological empowerment and flexibility within companies. I encourage you all to read this, this is a very interesting article. In this study, they grouped different people of different de generations and studied how they all cooperated with each other um, in a work environment. In their studies, they proved that the main differences between the younger and older generations is the amount of personal and professional experiences that the older generations have acquired. They say that the thing that sets them apart is not one particular characteristic that is unique to their generation, but rather how much experience the individual has. So obviously the older generation has more experience than the younger generations. In their study, they state that the real distinction amongst age groups are in the psychological empowerment and flexibility of the individual. The younger generations have a harder time because one of their lack of experience and two, because they tend to victimize themselves, which affects how they can contribute to the workplace. The older generations are more established, well-rounded people because they do have more experience, but also because they grew up with a different mentality. They are more comfortable assuming roles of uh, authority, which means that they have to be confrontational, while the younger generations criticize that authority because they feel constrained by it because they are not um, able to, one, victimize themselves as much in situations, and two, they can't individually express themselves as much as they want to. 
Generational diversity is a growing topic in business right now. It is very popular. New studies are being done constantly. Both articles got different conclusions from their studies. The first implies that their differences are because of the generational characteristics, so something that is unique to that generation. And the other says it is associated more with the individual's experience and that generation does have some say in it, but that is not the final um, determinator. So it's more of the individual's uh, personal experience. And I agree more with the second study because I personally have experienced this. I've been judged more on my experience rather than my age, especially as a 20 year old now going into more of a serious workforce. And that's why in interviews, they ask you about your work experience and how that would fit into the company because work experience is very important.